What is up guys, Ian here from Co-Create today. Co-Create with me so you can create a better tomorrow. Today, I wanna to talk about unlocking your creativity and why creativity is so important nowadays in our daily life and how being able to express yourself through um, third party objects and uh, like ways are so important into really um, learning about yourself and your natural talents. Now, most of our civilization is actually um, left-brained. That means that they uh, write with the right hand. And I always wondered that because I was I was actually left-handed growing up, and um, I always thought I was special in a way. Like, oh, I'm I'm left-handed. Like, I am one in like six people. And um, I was pretty fortunate enough to have both sides. So I was, I was left-handed and super creative, but I also was uh, sort of ambidextrous. And I actually am really good at math. And um, I got to calculus three and um, physics. And um, yeah, like uh, I was able to have that math side, but I also am very creative. And I noticed that my creativity kind of literally disappeared for a few years because I didn't nurture it. And once I got back into playing guitar, writing um, uh, music and just drawing and making art, I, bef I found that like it's something that you can um, learn very quickly and again it's one of those daily habits that you cr you gotta create for yourself if you really want to start manifesting things of high quality now what are three ways that you can um, use to unlock more of your creativity um, well number one is pick up an instrument I was raised in a very musical uh, home and my mom forced us Play, to play the guitar, um, the piano, and uh, a string instrument. So I played the violin. And um, because of that, I, uh, I didn't really catch on to why I had to do it. I felt like I was forced. So um, I was pretty good at violin. I was naturally good at violin and piano, actually. Um, but I, I didn't really have any intentions to learn it because it was forced. However, once I picked up the guitar, um, that was all me. And I, I really thought that um, it is a great uh, thing to learn, <laughs> especially if you want to swoo any girl. And that was my first intentions, playing the guitar. So I learned and um, I got pretty good. And then I just left it. After uh, high school, I just I didn't play for about a year and a half, and I didn't necessarily lose all my skill and whatnot, but all my creativity kind of was just gone. And getting back in that daily habit of playing the guitar, I'm get, I'm to the point where I can just get lost in my music and just get lost playing rhythms and. Um, chords and whatnot. So it is a beautiful thing, and I'm really grateful that I can um, use music to really unlock the creativity in my mind. Now, number two is to uh, draw, and drawing is a really quick and easy way to just get whatever is on your mind out. And again, I'll go back to my. Uh, year right after high school I was not creative at all and I was I remember hanging out with my friends my roommates really good friends and I got to know them really well too they're super creative and they love to draw and they love to um, do cool artsy stuff and I joined them one time and I could not get anything out I literally would just I just stood it and I sat at, the, uh, at my desk and just stared at this piece of paper for way too long probably like 45 minutes an hour I didn't do I literally didn't do anything I made like a few like scratches there and here but I couldn't get it out of me and it wasn't until I started drawing uh, just 
here and there, probably four or five times a week, I really was able to unlock this super creativity and like, um, like really expert skill in drawing. Like, like if you compare the first like day I drew in college to the last day, there is a huge difference. And um, I was always one to um, doodle in class. So um, I made that like a, a thing for me to practice on. Like I want to get better at the, I want to get better at schools. Schools are my favorite thing to draw. So my sophomore year of college, I was like, all right, I started out, um, the beginning of the semester was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to like get better at drawing in schools. I had that intention. And as I went on and drew more and more in schools, now to the point where my schools look freaking badass. And I'm really uh, proud of that and being able to um, have that creativity within me. Now, the third one is to, uh, this is one, this one's up to you, is find your, uh, your creativity creative outlet now I love Photoshop um, you could do a photo editor you can make videos like me I like do making videos because I can be creative in um, certain aspects I know that I need I need a smarter and faster computer to be able to like edit it and do all the crazy things but it's something that I'm creative with and making videos and thinking of ideas is something that really gets my piss in the firing and um, with creating new ideas and new things to talk about. So uh, the last one is basically leave it up to you but realize that in anything you do that um, requires creativity, making a daily discipline and habit of doing that is going to unlock more and more and you're going to be able to find that creative flow quicker and more easily and that's the goal is to be able to have that creativity outlet so being able to pull out creative ideas whenever and be able to connect to that source you literally will have the palm it's in your hand because our society kind of focuses on like the logical things the straight lines the straight edges and that is very left-minded. So if we can shift over to this right-minded and find that outlet and just find that flow, we're able to really let go of logic and kind of let <laughs> whatever be, be. So not defining things and just letting um, the answers or the questions be unanswered because um, why even bother? because every everything could be a possible answer by extension <laughs> I'll throw that back too so I hope you guys like this video please do something creative today uh, draw something and see where you stand how good you are <laughs> and uh, see how much time and effort uh, you need to put into start uh, manifesting those artworks that you would like. So have a great day <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Thanks guys.